You see the logos and maybe the crews out working, but what does downtown Portland Clean and Safe do? Last year, they collected 73,000 bags of trash, picked up 47,000 needles, and removed 40,000 graffiti tags downtown. They also provided basic public safety services with armed security guards. On Wednesday, Portland City Council voted to renew its security and sanitation contract with downtown Portland Clean and Safe for five more years at about $25 million. If we want to recover, uh, frankly, we have to address this basic um, service gap that Portland faces right now. And clean and safe is one strategy for doing that. Commissioner Mingus Maps was one of City Council's three yes votes. He hopes it brings downtown one step closer to economic recovery. But the reason now isn't because of COVID. Uh, people are avoiding Portland at this point because it is perceived to be a dirty city and a dangerous city. That's why it is incredibly important that we support programs like Clean and Safe. The only commissioner to vote no on the five-year contract was Joanne Hardesty. She proposed a one-year contract. There's this false image that somehow if we just pick up garbage and remove graffiti, then downtown is going to look like it did three years ago. Hardesty says her main concern with Clean and Safe isn't the cleanup part, but rather that it's part of an enhanced service district. Those are areas that use both public and private funding to maintain. She's worried about lack of oversight regarding ESDs and believes the city needs a policy standardizing the services they can provide. She also questions their priorities. We're going to clean up downtown. I don't know if you've noticed, there's not a corner of the city of Portland that doesn't have garbage. So clearly garbage cleanup is a symptom of a bigger problem. And a bigger problem is our neglect of people on the economic edge. I don't think that we have to do all or nothing. And I tell you, it's unacceptable to me to do nothing. But with that, Maps says he recognizes the importance of debating enhanced service districts and how future city policies could and should shape them. We've built some flexibility into this contract so that um, when the council decides what the future of enhanced service districts look like, we can come back and revise that contract. I'm going to hold my colleagues to their word. They want to do better. Um, I'm going to hold them to that. I hope they do. Catherine Cook, KGW News.